I'm happy. It, it did what it was supposed to do. This rain ain't letting off, is it? It's getting heavier. It is, isn't it? You might have to move on because that next creek's going to be moving up. And All right. Really we need to keep tracking then. All right, let's go. Let's go. But what's starting to worry me now is we're still a long way to go and the rain's starting to bucket down and if we don't reach that river soon, it's going to be too deep for Swampy and we definitely won't be getting the quads across. The river may be their next major obstacle, but with a track this wet, there are plenty of minor obstacles to deal with along the way. The track's getting worse, the water's getting deeper. Every corner we went around, there was a problem. You have to pull me out on your way past. Don't go too far, Jace. Jace, Jace. Whoop! Just drive! Jace, drive! What's he want? Drive! It's just constantly rain and we're all soaking wet now. It's, we're all over the rain. We're all starting to get a bit concerned that we're actually even going to get there. And now we've sort of probably passed the point of no return. We've got to keep, we've got to skedaddle, eh? Like, yeah, stop mucking around. Seriously, let's go. stop mucking around getting bogged. Meanwhile, the rain keeps falling and time keeps ticking. The station can't be no more than four, maybe three kilometres off, but we still haven't come to what is classed as the major crossing, the one river that is going to stop us. We know we're getting close because we're now running down the airstrip. And this is, this is supposed to be an all-weather airstrip. There's no way anything's landing on the airstrip. And that's why this place is so isolated. It's because you can't even bring planes in or choppers. In this weather, you're not landing choppers. We're it. We're, we're the rescue party. So I come around the corner, and there she is. She's a beast, and she's angry. Oh, no. <laughs> This isn't looking good. Can be a gentle little stream in the dry season, but when the wet comes and you get some decent rain, it's got a big catchment and it comes up very fast and it can raise metres in minutes. Oh, there's a truckload of water. Jason, this is not good. Um, well, you know it better than me, mate. Is this yeah. our last creek? This is our last creek. We're only 2k out, but that's got too much flow. You might get the cars through him, possibly, but definitely not the quads. We checked the depth and straight away we know we're not going to get the quad bikes across here. So let's find out what the weather's doing. Let's find out exactly what it's doing. Yeah. I get on the sat phone, like, back to base, tonight, and it's like all bad. Is that it's coming now. Oh, no. I look on Jace's face on the sat phone, I can tell it's all bad. All right, mate. All right, all right. No worries. No worries. I'll see ya, see ya. So it's not just a shower? No, it's all bad, mate. It went from a low, it's now a cycler, and it's bearing down on us, mate. And that river's going to come up worse. Yeah. We can't get the quad bikes across it now. No, no, we, I think we've got to leave the quad bikes and we just got to make a bolt with Swampy and get to the station. I don't want to get stuck in the bush in a cyclone. No, hell no. Apparently, a cyclone's coming in hard. It's going to dump another 200 mils of rain and we're going to be stuck between a rock and a hard place. we got to get across this river now and get to the station where it's safe. And the only way we're getting across this creek right now is in Swampy. Swampy has to make it. We've got to get across now. We've got to get the fuel across for the station and we've got to get to safety because that cyclone, when it hits, we're going to be stuck on this side of the river and that's it. We'll be stuck for days. To start driving in. It's, it's got little gullies, it's got washouts, and there's, you know, there's water rushing past. 
I'm hanging off the side of it. And actually sort of leaning right over into a big hole. is a bit worried. I'm hanging off the side of this. If it actually rolls in here, I'm under it. Oh, I know it's deep on either side. Red explained it to me. He goes, don't drive off. Don't go left or right. You've got to say dead true. I just hold it straight, power down, and Swampy does it. Swampy does what Swampy's designed to do. Get across those types of rivers, and it just eats it up. We just smash it across the river. It's amazing. I cannot believe it. It is really good. I, I think we're going to make it home. Pulled out the other side, I knew we were home free. Awesome. We got we got a roof for the night. Swampy's worth its weight in gold, isn't it? We're gone. We're out of there. We're heading towards the homestead. Happy days. We've got 2K now. We're almost back at the homestead. Let's hope the caretakers have got their clothes on. Um, it'll be good to get back there and see if there's some internet and we can find out what is actually going on with this weather. So the station looms up and it's like, oh, thank goodness for that. We know damn well now that we're not going to be stuck in the bush in the friggin' rain. <laughs> we made it, mate. We made it. <laughs> Cheers. Good old, mate. Good old, mate. Looks like a drowned rat. So we get to the homestead and it's really great to see Warren, but his first words are, there's a cyclone on its way, it's going to hit us tonight, and it's going straight over the top. Good. Good to see you. <laughs> How's the wet treating you, mate? Treating me wet. Can you check this out? What do you got? Your lap. Oh, oh. oh dear. If you make it in, you'd be stuck out there. So That's where our rain's come from. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was smack bang over the top of us tonight. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we just did make it. We're going to get a lot more rain than that, too, by the look of it. Yeah. Lucky. We got messy. Hope you're happy to have a few extra customers. Oh, certainly am. How, how high has that river come up? Because our quads are left on the other side of the river bank there. Well, if the water was up to your waist now, yeah. it would have been about three feet above your head. That's how high it would go. We hope we don't lose the quads. It's not too bad. At least we're here. We've got a dry roof over our heads. Yeah. Worry about it tomorrow. And some fuel for the generator. Let's have a cup of tea. Let's have a cup of tea. Yeah.